make a comment about the World Bank, but I think it applies in a way to foreign assistance more generally. Um, and by the way, <laughs> I'm not sure, it's not a bank. It may have started as a bank, but basically the important work the World Bank does is the same as what the British DFID organization does or the USAID does. It's giving money uh, mostly to other governments uh, to support economic development. And the fact that it gives it to governments is itself a little bit problematic. Uh, the way I would summarize the World Bank's experience, but also I think this applies to USAID and others, when you give money to a government that's more or less doing the right things, that money can help it do more of the right things. And so foreign aid, foreign assistance to South Korea, to Taiwan, to China did some wonderful things. When you give it to a government that's not very competent, uh, guess what, it doesn't do very much with it. But the worst part is when you give it to a government that is actively malevolent, that is stealing from its people, like the government of Congo Brazzaville, that was one of the ones I had the toughest time with. Congo Brazzaville is a country, it's an oil exporter, but 70% of the population lives on less than a dollar a day. They contribute money to politicians in France, but they can't take care of their own people. You give money to Congo Brazzaville, all you're doing is giving those rulers more power with which to control things. And I would say, and I argued this at the World Bank, and not everyone liked what I was saying, but I think the World Bank and other institutions need to discriminate a little better about who they give money to. And to offer a radical idea, I think on the whole, the more you can get money directly into the hands of poor people instead of filtering it through governments, the more successful you'll be. One cynic once said that foreign aid is the poor people of rich countries giving money to the rich people of poor countries. Now that's a little too cynical. Uh, there's an enormous desire, I know in, in England it's about as powerful as anywhere, to help poor people in poor countries, and I think it's a wonderful thing to do. But I think doing it more directly probably would improve the, the system. <laughs>